so Trey got his three, three, three hundred girl guys. Yes, baby. Happy Mondays for me to love you guys. So hit that notification button down below so you're notified when I post my videos. Readings, range, ritual, spiritual consultation, no job to pick a smart lily, do it all. So if you're looking for confirmation, um, if you, you should move on from a relationship, if you should move on from a connection, here's your confirmation. Anybody ever ask God, I'll give you $5 to get this person off of my mind. Every little thing I do, you're on my mind, like driving you crazy. And you know, last night I felt so, last night was one of those nights I felt like so alone. I felt, I even was like, God, could you just like hold me because I'm hurting? Okay, so energy to energy, if it res and res it, and it's like, you know, it's sometimes it's like, all right, well, I've had these feelings for this person for so long. Where do I even start? Okay. And the first place you don't start is going back to an ex. So, so, so a couple weeks ago or like two weeks ago, I had talked to my ex, like, did you, you know, do you want to get back together? Do you want to, you know, do you want to finish our family? Even though at the moment when I, when I picked up the phone to make that phone call to him, my spirit guides were like, no, literally so loud. I was like, but I went on and asked him and um, he was more interested in the fact that he doesn't have any money and he wants to do this and this and, you know, and so I was like, no, okay, I don't even know why I did that. I only did that because I just wanted to like see. So, um, so now if I really move on with my life, you can't say that I didn't ask him first, not, not, not technically ask him first, but you know, it was just interesting conversation we had. So. But I know sometimes it's like, how do I move on with your life? You you just be patient, okay? Because see now, am I open to dating people and talking to new people? Yes, absolutely. I don't. I'm not a person that wants to be alone. I'm I'm tired of being alone. That's it. I mean, sick of being alone. Right? Yeah, tired of being alone. And you know, I I pray to God every night that if you can, you just. <clears throat> Send me somebody in my life that's for me, that wants to grow with me, that wants to heal with me. Because, yeah, I would love to be in a relationship with my divine masculine, but that's not what he wants. Okay, so I can't make somebody do something or give me more of something what he wants. And you know what I'm saying? And, the and then did you guys ever think of, in the course of separation, something that really turned me off is, in the course of separation, so I've been intimate with the same person for two years, but God knows how many people he's been intimate with. That, that just kind of turns me off a little bit. So I'm saying, so if you're looking for confirmation, and it's like, you know, I'm like, God, well, if you're going to align me with it's almost God's like, you have to just wait. And he constantly tells me, you have to, I'm like, what are we waiting for? You know that scream movie, what are we waiting for? What she's standing outside in the... And the driveway, but it just keeps giving me the download. Like you're gonna have to wait. And you know, I'm. I definitely took myself off of social media. And you know, divine feminines. I another reading uh, I watched yesterday. She said the same thing about um, um, posting pictures and stuff like that. Um, she said almost like the same thing that I said. I was kind of blown away. So divine feminine, if you're trying to make your divine masculine with a thirst trap picture and all shit, it's just it just deters them away okay if you're trying to thirst trap you're gonna get thirsty ass people just know that you know what i'm saying so and, and so i took myself on social media because i feel like any guy that i've ever dealt with social on social media they like preyed on me literally so and it's not a man's job to pray it's a man's job to protect and provide so so i'm just like well when i talk to guys in public i'm always like no i'm okay so you know it's just interesting it's like i can feel in my heart, something coming in life that I want. I can feel it. I just, I can't touch it. I can't see it. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, laptop, for clarifying. 411 on the clock, baby. That's info. So if you were looking for a confirmation um, about moving on with your life, about moving away from connections and people and places that don't serve you, the first thing you have to do was totally release that in X situation. Which I totally been over that. I just wanted to just like see where that was going to go. Absolutely nowhere. I knew that. It's so funny because the moment I picked up the phone to call him, which I never do, which he probably thought that was weird too. My, I heard the voice of my spirit guide say, no, that's not what we're, that's not what we're doing. But 2023, it's a year. I just had to test that, test it out. You know what I'm saying? So energy to energy, what you want wants you to, you just, it's a matter of being patient because You've got to be aligned. You've got
got to be in alignment for that, okay? So, I love you guys. Happy Mondays, baby. Back on, back to the same routine. I love you guys. Hope you guys have a great day today. And keep your head up and your heart close to God. God, let God do his works and wonders behind the scenes. If we can't see it, we can't feel it, we have to have faith in our heart to know that it's coming. And I'll catch you guys on my midday mix every next read. Whatever comes first. I love you guys. Keep your head up in your heart. Close God. And I'll catch you guys on my midday mix. I'm going to treat whatever comes first. Mwah.